afternoon. We're going to learn how to sing Honeysuckle Rose, which is a jazz standard, a Fats Waller song. Uh, I think when he wrote this, it was like super fast. We're going to do it slow, sort of slow, just so we can kind of get our heads around the melody. And then we'll do a little bit of improv as well. I'm going to do this in the key that I wrote it for my alto saxophone. But it doesn't matter. I don't know what happened to the other chart. Every honeybee fills with jealousy when they see you out with me. I don't blame them, goodness knows. You're my honeysuckle rose. Okay, so that bit. Um, the ba ba boom bo day. Those are the notes. Um, you have a lot of license with these particular notes to kind of change up the rhythm. You don't have to sing it every honey, every honey bee fills with jealousy. You can change it like every honey bee fills with jealousy when they see you out in me. So it doesn't have to be da ba boom bo da. You can change it up, which I think gives the song a lot of character. It's one of the reasons why I like this song. Um, let's, let's do it in a few different ways. Um, Every honeybee fills with jealousy. So I was kind of going da da, ba ba ba. But then I don't, and I did, did that twice, but the next time, um, when they see you out with me, I don't want to do it again, because if you do the same thing, you know, too much, too much of a change becomes really ordinary. So if I did that again, it would sound like this. Every honeybee fills with jealousy when they see you out with me. Kind of like it's a bit boring, but if I change it up, Every honeybee fills with jealousy. I keep wanting to change the um melody. Let's try that again. Every honeybee fills with jealousy. Now I'm going to change it. When they see you out with me, makes it cooler than doing it the same way three times. It's the mixing it up is the spice of jazz life. So, um, I don't blame them, good, nasty owls, you're my honest uncle rolls, so ba da 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 do ba 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 So, you've got a lot of room at the end of, um, I don't blame them, goodness knows, you're my honeysuckle rose. There's a whole bar while the band are doing the turnaround to start again that you can use to extend the note, fill it with the scat, do whatever you want, take creative license. So, let's go from I don't blame them. I don't blame them, goodness knows. You're my honeysuckle. So I kind of scattered that time. I'm gonna try it, try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it up this next time, I'm going to do something different. I don't blame them, goodness knows. Yeah, my honeysuckle grows. So now it's kind of like left. I keep stuffing up this C-sharp minor. Thank you. Um, that was just like leaving it to hang. Now I'm going to do something else. I don't blame them, goodness knows. You're my honeysuckle. You're my honeysuckle always. So I kind of just add a little bit of extra something there instead. So uh, this is just literally the first verse, you know, first time round. All these cool things that you could do with honeysuckle rows. That's why I love it. It's such an easy kind of chord progression. Uh, to improvise over and this is just literally changing the rhythm you don't even have to worry like you know when you start changing the melody it becomes completely different again
Now, the trick when you're going through the second time through the verse, you know, when you're passing by, when you're passing by, flowers drill and sigh. You don't want to sing the same kind of way that you sang the first verse, replicated in the second verse, because that would suck. You know, so if you went, every honey bay fills with jealousy, won't they sail out when you may? And then if you did that again, like, when you're passing by, flowers droop inside, and I know the reason why. It kind of like, it's like, oh, boring. You've turned what was cool into something that's not cool anymore. You've got to change it up. You've got to do something diff different. So if you are a beginner and you don't have many ideas, maybe like, sing the first time through straight up, like as the melody's written, and then change the second time. And that will give you a little bit of, you know, you don't have to think of so much material, but you know, it'll still make it cool enough and change it all up. Now, we've got the B section. So you've got minims. Don't buy sugar, don't buy sugar. <coughs> What's happened to my voice? Don't buy sugar. But you don't have to sing it like that. Don't buy sugar. You can mix it up, like Don't buy sugar Just for an example um, You just have to touch my career My sugar So you've got the same thing again This is one of the reasons why this song is quite simple because everything kind of repeats in this song <coughs> um, But you don't want to sing Don't buy sugar the same way that you sing You're my sugar so you don't want to go, don't buy sugar, don't buy sugar, and you're my sugar. You don't want to sing it exactly the same way, you want to mix it up. Don't buy sugar, okay. you just have to touch my car, you're my sugar, okay. it's so sweet. I wanna stop right up. And then we go back to the verse again, which is exactly the same as verse one and verse two. Because this is an A A B A song format. When I'm taking steps from those tasty leaves, sings a honey belly drip, your confection. Nikki hasn't memorized the chart because she's an idiot. So, I hope that gives you, in a roundabout way, a very roundabout way, some ideas of how to break down Honeysuckle Rose and add your own little inspiration to it. Um, I will put a link below to where you can grab a couple of cool backing tracks for this song. There are piles on the internet um, that you can download for very cheap or free or very cheap. Um, and I'll put links to those below. Um, I won't give you the chart because you know what? You need to go and transcribe the chart yourself. It's a very easy chord progression. I should have memorized it by now. I've been playing this for years. So you can go and transcribe it by ear. That's the best way for you to learn. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, Leave me a comment and let me know if you tried any of these techniques out or if you found this video way too complicated or if you were like, yeah, this kind of gave me some really cool like ideas on how to add a little bit of improv to my songs. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in a couple of weeks. <laughs>